Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to somewhat of a requested review. Today we are talking about the new By Terry Brightening CC Palette in the shade Sunny Flash. This is their first uh, palette and that's why it has a name and it says one sunny flash. This is a first by Terry purchase for me. You know that I'm not a very bougie person. Um, I am not very big in uh, um, luxury makeup or skincare or just beauty in general. I am more of a affordable when possible, indie even better, and sometimes expensive because it's amazing. See Natasha Denona. The only splurges that I usually do, indeed, other than Natasha Denona, are Hourglass products. So in this video, I want to compare the two formulas with you and discuss my preference as someone who is not particularly interested in getting uh, luxury beauty for the, let's say, status of it, the symbol of it, um, but that I like simply things that work well and it doesn't matter what the cost is. By Terry CC Brightening Powders have been a cult favorite in the luxury beauty community for a while. I think they were a limited edition for one or two um, uh, holiday collections ago. I discovered them via Lydia Lee's Millen here on YouTube. She has a partnership with By Terry and uses their products constantly. She loves them a lot and she does look absolutely fantastic in them. These powders are meant to be all over as well as uh, in like in sections face powders and uh, they are of the glowy type. Each powder full size costs usually over the 50 euro mark. So when they came out with this guy right here for their summer, spring and summer 2020 collection that contains four shades in this beautiful little compact for 49 euros, I was sold, I said, okay, this is exactly the perfect time for me to try these powders. It was the same way Hourglass sucked me in the first time with their unlocked um, palette. It's just the fact that it costs less to try multiple, multiple products in one palette that are smaller since I will never go through them anyways. This palette right here um, is now on sale on Look Fantastic, Cult Beauty by Terry and I think maybe a few other spots. I purchased it on Look Fantastic with a 20% off discount and paid 38 euros for it. I think that is a great value for something that is indeed a higher end and um, that is very expensive in full size. So I was extremely happy. I would leave the links that um, uh, down below and the codes that I used, but I think it's not valid anymore. So uh, just check, especially on the look fantastic. There's always a 20% off and by Terry is eligible for it. Would I have bought it full price? Probably yes still. And on the Byteri website, I think Lydia has a code um, going right now, but there's also there some codes with influencers that you might be able to uh, use. So I would grab it if you're interested on sale. Then the other thing is um, these guys are very similar to the full size uh, CC brightening powders that they released previously. Um, there were four shades then. I think um, the most interesting, there was a very pale, a pink toned, a yellow toned, and then a bronzy shade. The bronzy shade was called Sunny Flash and, uh, or is called Sunny Flash. These powders are, uh, were limited edition and they're sold out almost everywhere. I think you might find one or two shades still lying around on the By Terry website, for example. I think I saw them, but there's very few pieces left. And Sunny Flash is also the name of this palette. So I expected this shade to be the same as Sunny Flash, but the shade names are different than the ones of the previous full size powders. However, um, they are very similar. If you check the review of my uh, friend here on YouTube, Giovanna Lovison, she did a really good in-depth review comparing the new uh, palette with the old powders that she has. It's more of her territory for luxury beauty, so I would refer you to go to see her review after mine, <laughs> while you're here, um, to see how they compare with the old powders. But since I don't have them, for me it didn't matter as long as they suited my skin tone. 
And looking at the palette as is, I would say the this yellow one I thought was gonna be perfect for all over the face. This is a great blush shade for me. It's a beautiful coral. I thought this darker shade would be a, a bronzer for me. And pink, I knew I wasn't really gonna use the pink, but it didn't really matter too much. I sometimes use pink blush, maybe twice a year. Maybe twice a year. But that I knew coming in. Another thing about this palette that you need to know is that it smells very strongly of rose, but not a little bit, a lot. Like just opening the palette, it's in the room, it's everywhere. However, once you apply it to the skin, if you can get past that, it, it will not linger on your face. So uh, from that point of view, I don't mind. To me, rose is always a little bit of a, I don't know, older lady smell sorry nothing against the older ladies but it's it's just not a very young smell and i don't love it then again uh, the pixie rose uh, line also had a very similar scent it doesn't bother me but it's not something i love so just to keep in mind if you're offended by smells or they make you sensitive these are definitely very very smelly <laughs> fragrance i wanted to say but smelly <laughs> I almost forgot to mention that the packaging of this uh, product is made incredibly well. Uh, it comes in a pink metallic plastic casing. This is hard plastic with a click closure, so not magnetic. But the uh, outer front of it looks exactly like the cardboard packaging and uh, is in a metallic overlay type of feel you can hear it different sound <laughs> um, i think the design of this is gorgeous and absolutely worth the uh, luxury price point if you compare it to something like the ghost palette which is one of the worst packaging i think it's so ugly this transparent thing it became a trend uh, with MAC doing the same thing, but I despise it. And it comes with a big fingerprinted mirror that looks really, really nice. Like I can I can imagine traveling with this and doing my full makeup with it. It's what I uh, often do with my Unlocked palette as well. So the quality of the packaging is up there with the reputation of the brand. It's absolutely gorgeous. As usual with face powders, swatching and showing you the colors will be very difficult, but at the end of this video I'll put in a demonstration in which I apply these powders um, on my face. They are right now on this side of the face and on this side I applied in the same demo the uh, hourglass powders because that's a little bit about this review. That's what I wanted to uh, share with you and that's also what you guys indicated you wanted to see in my um, haul video and on my Instagram posts, which I appreciate. Thank you for talking to me and telling me what you want to see. But nevertheless, I'm going to do a quick swatch of these shades just so that you can see them and then we can talk a little bit more about them. The first shade is a very light yellow toned powder. And uh, for me, it's actually even too light as a highlighter, I feel. It's very shiny, as you can see. And as an all-over powder, it's, it would be way too shiny for me. I have combination oily skin, but my, the center of my face is oily and I don't even use the hourglass powders all over my face because they're very glowy. So for me, that doesn't work. I've been using it as a highlighter and even then I find it a little bit too light for my coloring. The next one is the pink shade right here. And this could work both as a very radiant uh, blush for a light skin tone. On me, it's probably a pink toned blush topper or uh, a, a hybrid between a uh, highlighter and a blush. It's very shiny and um, slightly pink toned. The corally blush is a beautiful shade. This is absolutely stunning in the summer. I'm gonna build it up a little. Um, these are actually very nicely pigmented, applied with a brush, you'll see it in the demo. And it's also what I'm wearing on my cheek right now. It is beautifully uh, shiny, but not as shiny I feel as the other two. And the tone of the of this is perfect. I love it as a blush. I am definitely a fan of this blush. 
Finally, the more bronzy shade right here. Um, this guy, I thought what got, was gonna be a bronzer, but the moment I swatched it, you can see that it's very orange and very shiny. So um, it has a more coppery base with a golden sheen on top. It's extremely beautiful, but not what I would use as a bronzer. More as a bronzer topper, as you'll see me use it in the demo, but also as an all-over blush. Um, I'll mention it in the demo as well, because I just recorded, but I can imagine this guy right here being a powder that you can bring all over the per outside perimeter of your face and both warm up your skin as well as uh, bring a lot of glow, but it will not I don't know how to explain it. It will give you a very glowy look, but I don't think it does the same as a bronzer or a contour to give you volume on the face. So I would still use a more neutral and um, let's say more natural or matte finish to start and use this on top of it. I can also imagine, actually, I didn't do that. Why didn't I do that? Um, applying this one on my nose a little bit with this trend of having blush in your nose. I really like it. This shade is beautiful, but it's not what I thought it was gonna be. So overall, this palette is not a full face palette that I can travel with um, for me because, as I said, the highlighter is a bit too, too light. There is no bronzer. On the other hand, the uh, Hourglass Unlocked, if I would only have um, the bronzer, the highlighter, one, this blush, for example, and this powder, it would be four and it would be my perfect palette. Actually, if only I could depot these and put them in the ghost palette packaging, that would be my perfect travel face palette. Um, and I want to also talk about the difference with these in terms of finish. You can probably see it already on my face, but the by Terry side, this side, is much more dewy, much more glass skin looking. And um, for some it might be, or from far away maybe, it's very beautiful. But to me, I discovered texture on my cheek that I didn't know I had before. And I think that kind of defeats the purpose. It's very shiny and beautiful, but it's not improving my skin. It doesn't look better. Uh, whereas the hourglass powders, even though they're a little bit more toned down, in shine and it's more of a traditional shine instead of this wet glass skin. I think these have the quality of diffusing the light and therefore making your skin look more perfected and less textured. So I personally, unfortunately, prefer the hourglass uh, powders for my skin. I find they are a bit more perfecting. They are a little bit more um, yeah, natural looking in a positive way. And uh, whereas I love the dewiness of this, I mean, it looks juicy, right? And it does also this effect in which if you move, you don't just shine where you have your highlight, you shine all over your cheek. Um, this is a technique that, for example, Jordan Liberty uses a lot to sculpt without a contour, but with the glowy um, product. So that depending on where your light, the light hits you, you will be highlighted where it needs to be and not um, due to a shimmer versus a matte contour, let's say. So I overall, <laughs> I like the effect, but it's not... I think my favorite, and if I had to choose knowing this from scratch, I would probably not have purchased this and have stayed with my um, hourglass powders. Now, maybe let's take a look at how much product there is in here, because price-wise, these vary quite a bit. As I mentioned, the By Terry Quad costs 49 euros full price and is often on sale, can find it on sale. Uh, this contains four times 2.3 grams of product, which I think is actually plenty. Um, it's double an eyeshadow. Uh, I personally don't go through blushes very, very fast or, or highlighter. So I'm perfectly happy with the amount of product that is in here. It has a 36 months shelf life. On the other hand, instead, the Hourglass Goes to Blush palette retails for 58 uh, US dollars. So I think it was for 
I bought it for 45 euros, I think, on Space MK, but there was a, a sale going on there. So um, I think it's around at least the 58. 50 euro mark on the Sephora Italy it was when it launched and this contains four times 1.4 grams of product so definitely less product here almost a whole gram or yeah almost a whole gram less product per shade in the hourglass um, palette however you have to also keep in mind that we've seen from beauty news destroying the unlocked palette that there was way more product than what they uh, declared in there so um, overall I think you are getting a product that um, you probably won't finish, let's say it. If you are someone who actually goes through their face products though, um, the By Terry definitely has more in there. So after seeing these, what are your thoughts? Which side of my face do you like better? What do you think? Um, I would love to hear it in the comments down below. In the meantime, we can move into the demo in which I show you how I achieved or I applied these products on my cheeks, starting from a base plus a uh, matte cream uh, bronzer, let's say. <laughs> let's get into the demo. Hey guys, here we are at the demo for the By Terry Brightening CC Palette. On this side, I'll be using this guy, and on the other side, I'll be using the Hourglass powders, both the Ghost Palette and the Unlocked Palette. Let's start with, I have a uh, foundation, concealer, I set the center of my face and my concealer, and I have applied the Chanel uh, bronzer to the perimeter of my face everywhere the same. So I am starting with the By Terry palette and this sh shade right here, which is a bit of a bronzer topper. And I am going to pick it up, tap off the excess and apply it as I would a bronzer topper. On my temple, which uh, I apologize if you see, he just colored my hair. So there might be some residue of that and you can see the difference is in the glow that this applies uh, you can also use this as just a blush by itself um, i think this would be great as a one and done only uh, product on your whole skin it will warm up your skin it will give you a glow um, but it's definitely very warm and very orange i have a very warm uh, undertone so i get along okay with this it doesn't look weird on me I think and here's the difference on the other side since the um, hourglass doesn't really have the same idea they have an actual bronzer and I'm gonna take the bronzer from the unlocked palette and apply it to this side and you can see immediately how the color is less warm especially on my forehead, you can see the difference in color. And you can see how the shine here is not the same shine as here. And I feel like this is more of a, I don't know, shimmery uh, effect, whereas on this side, not so much, more natural effect. Then for blush, I am going in with the coral shade in this palette. Of course, I love it as a blush and tapping off the excess, applying it, starting from the back of my cheek forwards. I like it better that way. It's not necessarily the color that I would apply with this makeup, but this is what we're doing today. I felt like a dark brown smoky eye. You'll find this look on my Instagram. I filmed my first IGTV today. Um, but you can see this is a beautiful shade of blusher. I really like it. It suits me very well. Um, I would wear this all summer long. What I like a little bit less is the amount of sheen and how much it emphasizes the texture on my skin. I'm looking in the viewfinder if you guys can see the same as I can see. To obtain a similar color on the other side, I am going to be mixing these two bottom shades of the Ghost palette. Kind of toning down the orangey shade a little bit with some pink and you can see right away how this is uh, less shiny of a product 
Uh, it looks a little bit more soft matte, but it has a still a sheen, but it's more of a diffused light type of sheen. I know that this is part, that's what the words they use for their uh, marketing campaign, but you can really see how this is really shiny, whereas this one here is more healthy, let's say. Then let's get to the highlight. I am taking this shade up top here with this very light yellow toned shimmer and applying it on the high points of my cheek. I find that this is actually a bit too light for my skin tone. I don't love the effect. Maybe for a more pale time, but you can see that it's very shiny. What you can also see is all the texture on my skin. I hope. I don't love the color on me, I have to say. I feel like I want to tone it down with the blush a little bit. This is without any product uh, with the same brush. But you can see that it's extremely shiny and it emphasizes my uh, texture, I think. And I don't really have a lot of texture up here. Like my problem area is the center of my face. My apologies if maybe it's a little bit bright. It's very bright, bright outside somehow. Anyways. I am gonna start by applying the um, highlighter in the ghost palette. This is one of their strobe blushes. I think this is brilliant nude. And for me, this is a highlighter and it is a very natural and mild highlighter. As you can see, I love this effect because it blends really well in with the blush. It doesn't give the stripe that you get sometimes from very harsh Highlighters, so I actually really like it and it, it really gives a three-dimensionality to this to the cheek To also show you something blinding from uh, uh, Hourglass I'm showing you the one in the unlock palette and I think this is as a formula It's a metallic strobe powder indeed in champagne strobe light This is much stronger and again a bit light for me, but it will give you an idea of the comparison with the other side, the by Terry side. This also emphasizes a bit more my texture and it's a similar, very metallic highlight, but it's still a little bit more matte, a little bit more, it's not matte, it's more natural finish rather than this side, you get a really, really dewy um, effect, a really dewy cheek, but you can see like right here, you can see there's a dip as if Probably my cheek has a different like <laughs> slope here, but in person you really cannot see it, whereas it, it's really emphasized by this product. So let me know down below which one you like the best the look of. My heart lies with Hourglass, as I mentioned, and unfortunately, um, yeah, the By Terry hype laid a little fell a little bit flat for me in the sense it's too much shine too much dewiness and it emphasizes my my texture which i didn't know i had so that will be it for this video thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in my next one bye guys